Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. We are headed out. It's 7 o'clock, 7.30 almost. We're supposed to leave by 7 to be there early. 7.30 to be there on time. We gotta this run. This girl has to give me brave, so she forgot. She gave me, um... Okay, yeah, so I have this herbal stuff that I use for Gabby. Um, we call it brave. And... Mom says, do you want the... Do you want the brave? Yeah, do you want the brave, Gabby? <laughs> um, and she always says yes because brave it's like an herbal, not an herbal, it's like a um, homeopathic remedy that makes her feel brave. And she has a lesson today with um, our male instructor, and that guy pushes her, right? And she doesn't feel brave enough to say no, so maybe that's gonna counteract. Maybe she's gonna actually feel brave enough to say no, and that's how it will work. No, I just don't say no. no I hope not. We are headed out and uh, we'll see you guys when we get there. Um, I just want to tell you guys really quick about Equine Devil Advocate. I keep on saying it, but she has a podcast. I watch it on uh, pod podcast app. I forget what it. Uh, I forget what it's called. Anyways, um, every single week I listen to her podcast, and I'm always amazed, and I always learn so much, and I always think, oh my gosh, if you guys could hear it. Anyway, this story um, this week was about. Um, this lady, she's at a dinner party, and this lady was like, oh my gosh, I rode the worst horse ever. It was so slow, it just plodded along. I think she must be British. Um, it just plodded along, and um, it took me wherever it wanted to go, and I kept on wanting to go one direction, and it wanted to go another direction, and it didn't listen to me, and it would just go into the creek. But just go into the creek and I'd be like, hey, I don't want to go in the creek. sit there for no reason. It was the worst ride of my life. And um, everybody was like laughing and commiserating with her because yeah, like we've all had horses like that, right? <laughs> then this lady must own like, um, she must board horses at her place because she said, um, a couple days later, another lady called her and asked if she had room to board her horse there. And the lady and the podcast lady said, okay, well, t I do have room. Tell me about your horse. And so she said, she was expecting her to say, oh, you know, it's this big or it, you know, needs this much food or whatever. But what the lady ended up saying was like, um, that her horse was like the most amazing horse ever because um, it just, knew exactly what she needed. She needed like a really restful ride, a relaxing ride. She could just put the reins down and the horse knew where to go. It knew um, all the best flowers to go to. And um, she uh, loved to take photography, take pictures of stuff. And her horse would just plod into the river and stand there for as long as she needed while she took pictures. And, the, and of course it was exactly the same horse. The two stories were about the same horse. But the point of the story was that the owner taught it to do something yeah, and the horse did it. But and then the other girl, when she rode it, she didn't know what she was doing. So like, she didn't know the horse. Yeah, but the point of the story is, is that one man's treasure is another man's, I forget how that Nothing. Goes. Yeah, like one man's junk is another man's treasure. So one lady hated the horse and the other lady, the horse was perfect for her. And that goes along with my whole theory about every life has a purpose. Every life has value, you guys. Every life, even if you think it's the worst um, animal, person, ugliest, anything, they have value. To somebody else, it might be their amazing, um, exactly what they need. We're here. Yeah, it's cold. It's not too bad. hot. So we're gonna try it today. We're gonna try and get our horses to come, right? With an apple. Started See, this is what's weird. They all have their morning hay. And Stella's way down there. She tries to find grass. She does not like hay. Or else she ate all her hay. Oh, stay here and show her the apple. Oh, look at that. Sophie's got an apple. Look who's on the move when there's food involved. Good girl, give her the apple now. Good girl. Gabby's gonna try the same thing, but our boy, her boy, is way the heck down there. 
Well, we know that one girl knows how to come for food. She's a smart cookie, you guys. I don't like the girls to take food into the paddock because it can cause a lot of trouble with horses. Oh, see, look. She's showing him the apple. She's calling him. I think he's coming. So she's gonna like, oh, they're all coming. Whoa! See, that's the problem. They're all coming. Back up a bit, Gabby. Make them follow you. That works. No, I love cleaning their hooves though. Getting them all clean. So Gabby's out there setting everything up the way she wants. Um, I don't know if we're supposed to have a lesson. I, I thought we were supposed to have a lesson. This is the time that we set up to have lessons, but I don't know, it could have got changed and mixed up and I just didn't get it because I have to see it in writing to understand what's happening. But anyway, yeah, we're here. We're gonna make the best of this day anyway. Well, this is it's early morning rides. Um, one of the girls that we rode with yesterday, like a, the older girl that was showing us some stuff, I didn't really show her too much. She agreed to ride Stella once for us so that she could kind of push her a little. All right, since our trainer didn't show, this is what our course looks like today. Funny how the story goes, little hope but bigger dreams. Down, singing louder than the crowd. Ah. <laughs> no, we're not having a lesson. He didn't show up. I, I, I'm assuming I got it mixed up somehow. Wow, or just Usually they message. you guys this is our new friend Zoe and she is at her barn and she's how old are you I'm 20 you don't have to tell us your age That's all right. okay she's 20 <laughs> and clearly like the height of Gabby yeah. <laughs> anyway she volunteered to ride Stella right oh, yeah. we wanted somebody to ride her and just show Sophie that she's not gonna be bad again like every time Sophie goes a little bit fast on her she's like help she's gonna take off right. and Zoe's gonna show us that she's not and if she does you're okay with that yeah Okay, yeah. Then, I've watched her ride. I know okay. she, okay. I know she can handle a, a takeoff. <laughs> the crazy ones are kind of my forte. Oh, good. Crazy ones are her forte, so that means that she's gonna like be super good for you. <laughs> yeah, now she's gonna be good. Sophie says. But look at already, she's walking faster. Like we make her walk so slow because we're afraid. She's like, wahoo! <laughs> better watching her, because we got it in our head that we're afraid for her to go fast now, right? Yeah. <laughs>
Gubby's running bitless. She really likes to ride Storm bitless. She said that he stops much better without a bit. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? Did you like Zoe helping? That's amazing. Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others. You said my world on fire. You're my heart's desire. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna. We took off the jumping boots because Storm absolutely hated them. And then that happened. I don't know what I do without you. It's all about Stella. She did so good today and she had such a good workout. She was actually sweating, sweating a lot. People have been sending us like ads for horses and like we love Stella, we're keeping her. Um, but we do need another horse. Like we need a horse that Sophie can ride, that she can jump and stuff. And I don't know how it's gonna work out. Like I have no idea. And I can ride Stella just though. Yeah. And I'm not ready to ride like a horse all the time, but like I would, I don't know if I'm ready or not. Like if I had to do it, I think I would. Just like if I have to be at the barn five days a week, I, I am. So I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. There's another horse in our future. Sam's been sending me horses every day. Sam found a horse today that would be perfect for Sophie. Jumps three feet, does hunters. Fine. But yeah, he's like, do you think we should do it? Like, do you think we should do it? I don't know. Three horses is a lot, you guys. Three horses is a lot. Like three horses on our own property would not be that big of a deal. I mean, it would still be a oh, lot. God. Yeah, so that's gonna happen soon. Like we're gonna buy Sophie another, like we're gonna buy another horse. As it is right now, we have two horses. One can do everything. And so whatever she needs, she can do on him. Um, but yeah, I see another horse in our future. Hopefully it's not our very mm. near future, but it could be like, I feel like it, it could happen Aww. soon. I just want Every time Gabby has a fall, I never catch it on camera. What happened? Uh, I was backing away from Storm like, bye Storm. I fell. <laughs> fell in the mud. On my butt though. <laughs> like, and she came running to me laughing. She's like, oh, 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 guess what happened? <laughs> There's like no mud. Were you laughing at yourself? Yeah. Let me see your coat. How'd you get up? I just got up. Oh. See, my coat saved me. Oh, good.
And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.